Hey everyone, this is Oscar with Vito Group and in this video we're going to be discussing how to answer a phone call and how to pre-qualify a prospect to see whether or not they're going to be a good customer or not a customer for your detailing business. Because remember, just because someone calls you doesn't mean they're going to turn into a customer and just because they become a customer doesn't mean they're going to become a great customer. So let's get straight into it. So right here we have two columns. The one on the left is pretty much the average Joe, what happens that you shouldn't do, uh, phone sequence. So for the most part, someone calls you up and this is the not to do. So uh, when someone calls you, you shouldn't only answer their question. So they'll call you and say, hey, do you guys offer mobile detailing service? Yes. Hey, uh, I need interior cleaning. Okay, we'll do it. Uh, um, you know, how long does it take? Four hours. How much is it? $120. So it, just purely answering questions with no guidance of what's going on. So that's uh, a mistake to do. Uh, next one would be when you're just winging it. When you just, you know, you think, you know, uh, 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 you've been uh, doing it for X amount of time or perhaps you believe you don't need a script or what have you, but someone just calls you and you say, okay, hey, and you just talk to them and you just answer as it goes with no structure, no skeleton to follow. So. That's also a big mistake as for the, they'll probably, uh, the, the potential customer, the uh, prospect will pretty much lead the conversation while you're just going back to this and just answering questions and give them exactly what they want, which isn't bad, but in terms of trying to really convert all uh, prospects to, uh, to sales, uh, you don't really want to wing it every single time. And the next was you don't follow up. So like I said, uh, just because a prospect calls you uh, doesn't mean they're gonna buy from you. And just because they don't buy from you at the very specific moment, it doesn't mean they're not gonna become a customer. It just means for whatever reason, which should be discovered in the pre-qualification column, uh, for whatever reason, uh, they can't buy from you right now, whether it be their cars in their shop, whether it means that they're a little bit on a budget, which means, or whether they're gonna come back on vacation and then they want it done. Um, if you uh, identify what those uh, objections or complaints may be, uh, you can follow up and say, hey, Hey, you know, what's up, John? Um, you know, just reaching back out to you, you said you're going to be back three months uh, from your vacation. You know, let's get that detail done. That's not done uh, when you don't follow up, when you don't set schedules to say, okay, John said I need to call him in three months, I'm going to call him in three months. And then saying yes to everything, going back to pretty much uh, only answering questions and winging it, is, uh, you know, you're the yes man everything. You just, uh, hey, do you guys offer this? Yes. Hey, can you do this? Yes. Hey, can you do, uh, can you kind of do this? Yes. You just keep on saying yes and yes and yes and yes. And that really deprives you from your services and what in the quality of service that you can offer. Because uh, you really want only, a, you know, you know what you're good at and what you can offer. And when you let someone else dictate, you know, how you want the service to be done, then that's going to kind of bring your quality down because you're completely abiding to what they want, which isn't bad. Um, but again, you do need to have structure with it. So let's go to the uh, one I prefer more. Again, this is all the wrong ones, wrong. Yeah, I can't read that, don't worry about it. So first thing first is you absolutely do need a script. I'll get up here. You absolutely do need a script for your phone calls. Uh, and again, this isn't to make you sound like a robot or a machine or this, you know, uh, this, you know, step-by-step uh, -step, uh, machine that's just going to read it out. But you absolutely do need a script because more often than not, if you go back to all the phone calls that you've had with potential customers, prospects, clients, you pretty much follow the same framework every single time to discover what their problems are. Now you just need to structure it into, and it doesn't need to be word for word, but at least have a skeleton you can follow so you know that every time you, uh, every time you get on a phone call, you'll get the exact points that you need. So this is very, very crucial. You absolutely need to have a script. Um, and again, it's not to make you sound like a robot, it's just to give you a strong skeleton on how to uh, go about a phone call. And like I mentioned, you do need to have specific questions uh, set up. So again, you need to do, you need to find uh, very specific information if they want interior cleaning. Well, what type of car it is? What type of car is it? Is it leather or cloth? Is there any specific area you want us to uh, clean? Is there you know is there any dog hair? Do you own any dogs? Is there pet hair? Is there you know you want you want to have these questions set up so you know to get the exact information um, so you know what you're gonna expect on the day of the detail. And again, if you, and for me personally, I never, I don't go out to customers' car, uh, customers' location because I offer mobile detailing services. I don't go to customers' locations just to give them a price. I always get the price range over the phone. And the only way I'm doing that is if I discover what type of car and interior they have. I'm not gonna give them an, an exact price range, but I say, okay, well, based on like, and I essentially ask four questions: What type of interior is it? What type of material is it? So cloth or leather? Is there any specific area you want us to clean? And is there dark hair? From that, I'll give them a, a, a generic price range, and I'll say, okay, well. 
you know, based off of what I asked you and you know what I'm what I'm getting from you, um, I can't give you an exact quote yet because I haven't seen the car. But the price range will be anywhere between you know 135 to 165. Does that work for your budget? And always ask that. Always ask if that works for your budget because if it's not, then obviously what are you guys talking about? Um, so that's the specific question I asked for interior cleaning. Again, if you want to check down below in the description, I'll give you my personal script that I use for all calls that are coming in. Um, so uh, by all means, just use it and modify it to however you want to modify it to meet your specific needs and the questions you need to ask. But uh, by all means, just download it below and you can just use that script in your business. So following up is a big, 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 big thing in your contribution to success. Um, uh, like I said, uh, you know, whatever reason, just because a prospect calls and doesn't buy from you right then doesn't mean they'll never buy from you. So always identify, and again, going back to the script and the specific questions you need to ask. Well, if they say no to whatever it may be, what questions do you have in place to kind of discover why they're saying no? Um, or just, it's just as simple as saying, well, can I ask you, you know, uh, is this not a good time for you? Is, is this not within your budget? Um, you know, you, you want to have it set up so, uh, you know, they say, oh, well, you know, I do want a full paint correction. I do want to remove all these swords and scratches, but I'm actually going on vacation in two weeks for a month. So I won't be back till probably a two months. Uh, when it will, it'll be a good time for me to get the detail done. So mark that in your calendar. If you have some type of software like followup.tc, uh, put that in there and make sure you follow up within two months to say, uh, hey John, just checking up, uh, you know, hope your vacation went well. Uh, just wondering to see if you're still interested in the detailing services, you know? Uh, so next thing would be, uh, and this just kind of wraps it up from uh, what I've been saying on the rest of them is, uh, Think about all the conversations and details you've had in the past. Because I know there's been a few times where you get on a phone call and you talk to the uh, potential customer and you figure everything out, you're all set, and then you get to the car to the, you know, if, if you're offering, offering mobile detailing services or if they can come to you in your shop. But uh, you get to the, you're, you, you know, start working on the, de on the car and then you realize, oh my God, you know, oh my gosh, I didn't ask them this specific question and now here's a big problem that I now have to address because I didn't, I didn't identify that problem uh, on the pre-qualification call. Um, so you, that, you know, it's going to bring up to, it, it's going to avoid or at least minimize uh, any mistakes or drawbacks that you might see. So kind of think about the conversations you've ever had with customers and say, okay, well, you know, I often, I often run into this problem, which can easily avoid it if I just ask them this question in the phone call. Um, so really dig d deep and see if you can remember as many uh, times that that happened to discover the, you know, some true, true, true uh, questions you can ask to really say, okay, let me avoid that by asking this question. Simple as that. And you know, for for the mo and for most of you, you could probably charge more because uh, if it's more work, then clearly you can charge more. And the next is saying no. So obviously this is all opposite to the to, to the to the wrong one, but saying no. So obviously to say, oh well, you know, um, uh, if you offer like let's say a specific package, and uh, they're like, oh well, can you not can you take out this and can you do this? Uh, again, I'm not saying you shouldn't or you can't. I'm just saying don't be a pushover or don't let them don't let them dictate what you have to offer or your you know uh, pretty much your business. Because um, again, you're the one that offers the the services, so. And don't let them dictate what they want from you. Uh, of course, you can give them what they want. Just don't let them overly dictate you where you're compromising your skill set or your level of quality or you're going to be losing out money uh, in the long run. So uh, I'll give you an example. Just like uh, so for inter interior cleaning, I basically just offer two services, either a basic maintenance cleaning or a full interior cleaning. There's no really in between. I won't, you know, they'll say, oh, well, only my seats are really dirty. So can you just clean the seats and kind of vacuum everything else? I could do that, yes, but I'm not going to. I don't say that. I'm just, you know, this is how we're, we're, I'm talking to you directly, but uh, I, I don't do that. I just say, hey, you know, just to, so we're on the right page, you know, uh, I do either full interior cleaning from top to bottom, headliner, seats, door panels, uh, dashboard, so on and so forth, or we'll just do a basic maintenance of just, I'll just vacuum and do a wipe, a light wipe down of the uh, door panels and dashboard. Um, so, you know, uh, and this just kind of keeps me, you know, lets me make more money. And then two, it keeps my uh, customer service higher, keeps the quality of service higher, uh, and just for overall makes a better experience for both the customer and myself. So those are the tips that I have for you. Again, you can look in the description down below to download my phone script. Uh, again, and then just tweak it to however you like to tweak it. 
um, or if you want, we can kind of just go back and forth and I can help you or you can help me uh, set up this, uh, you know, set up a phone script so we know exactly what to, uh, what to say when someone calls. And again, if you have employees or if you just have an assistant and someone calls you, you can easily just give that script to them and they just follow a step-by-step -step, uh, uh, script on, on what, what they need to say or it's a structure of how to say it. So, um, you know, you can either continue detailing or you can continue doing what you're doing and someone else can answer that phone and set up an appointment, set up a detail, uh, you know, handle, a, uh, handle any type of call. Uh, from that script. So I uh, hope this helps. Hope you like what he said. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video because uh, I like this video. So you should like it too. And um, leave any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, hate or love down below in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.